Well, I think that his uh, biggest uh, challenge uh, at this point would be, uh, of course, ruling um, with an inherited uh, budget. The 2018 budget was passed by Mariano Rajoy's government, uh, which is a a budget uh, that is uh, obviously very uh, center-right budget-oriented. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, Pedro Sánchez said that he was looking for a more social agenda. He was uh, looking uh, for different uh, measures, leftist-oriented uh, le um, uh, policies that is going to be very difficult for him to implement with this budget. Uh, and, of course, it's also going to be very very difficult for him uh, in the next coming months, the Catalan crisis, uh, because he uh, he depends on the Catalan parties in Parliament to uh, uh, make viable his uh, government. Uh, we must say that after after Marian after uh, Pedro Sánchez is sworn in in Catalonia in the uh, in Barcelona, the cabinet of the new uh, regional. Uh, Catalan president is also being sworn in, and the 155, uh, 155 article that uh, uh, is giving Madrid uh, rule in Catalonia is going to uh, finish. Is going to uh, is going to uh, finish, and the Catalan government will have a full power again in in, in the Catalan autonomy. So uh, we need to see exactly now what is going to happen with. With, with this uh, situation, the new prime minister and the new uh, uh, government in Catalonia. Now we're seeing uh, Mariano uh, Pedro Sánchez has just been sworn in. Uh, he's talking uh, with, uh, with the press, uh, probably um, saying uh, what, what is going to be uh, his uh, new uh, way of ruling uh, probably a new era and a new way to do things.